Hey guys, so today in Just Add Water, we are gonna play with a technique I saw on a fellow YouTuber's channel. His channel name is Kellogg's Loops. I'm gonna link the specific video in the description below for you all. Um, but Kellogg's Loops and the video title is How to Paint Water. Um, so anyway, I followed his tutorial. Sorry, people are suddenly texting me because the camera's on. I followed his tutorial to try his techniques with, uh, personally, I think, mixed success. I don't know, I don't know. Um, so I wanna try it again in today's um, video and I'm gonna skip to the um, speed through on that with music because um, I'm, I'm not gonna talk you through what I'm doing. I want you to go watch his video after you watch this one, if you will, because I also was experimenting with something called granulation medium, which I didn't know about until recently. I'm sure other, sorry, I'm sure other watercolorists have known about it. I only recently found out about it because of um, reading about it in a Gene Haynes book. So I wanna show you what the result is of that and what it's supposed to do. And uh, my second try at this page, right? We're gonna do the speed through first and I'll be back.
here are the results. They're not dry at all, and I used a different um, white ink. The first time I did it, I used Higgins Drawing Ink. It's just a flat matte white. And this time I used Efton W Pearlescent um, Liquid Acrylic Ink. I have lots of ink. Um, it's one of the things I've been sort of trying to go through and purge. I'm unsuccessfully, I seem to want to keep all my ink. And I have four different colors of white, I know, right? Anyway, I wanted to see what the pearlescent would look like and it's 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 really pretty. I still don't think I'm super successful at this technique. I think it's gonna take some practice. And I wanted to see what it would look like done in a different color other than blue, just because I think it's an interesting background. Um, I also, I, I did it on these postcards, not because I, I need to fill this book up, but um, I found like four pads of these Strathmore watercolor postcards I didn't even know I had, so I'm trying to use them up. Um, so anyway, I think they're pretty cool. I'm gonna let them dry and then add them to my stash of painted postcards to send off for uh, patrons over on Patreon and YouTube members and people like that that support my channel. But um, yeah, they're pretty cool. I still don't think I was super successful, but yeah. And then also in, um, I found a medium, it's called a granulation medium and it's by Windsor Newton. Hang on, let me get the bottle. Granulation medium. Okay, I did put it into a dropper bottle because I think it's easier to add to the watercolors that way. Um, it's supposed to add texture to the paint. Now, I used two different colors of Daniel Smith paint here, the same two I used on the postcards. This one is Rose of Ultramarine, and you can see on this paint, which is only wet with water, how some of the pigments in the paint um, sink into the texture of the paper and create this sort of a granular textured look to the paint, although it's flat. Um, and this one, which is the Quidocridone Purple, is just a flat, smooth color, and you see some puddling from the water, but you don't see the same sort of pigment variation where the pigment actually sunk into the texture of the paper like you do with the Rose of Ultramarine. The granulation medium is supposed to mimic that, so I thought it would take those same two colors, Rose of Ultramarine and Quidocridone Purple and see what it did. So with the Rose of Ultramarine, I thought I would see if it would make any difference and maybe make it more granular. I wasn't sure what it would do, if anything. So this is straight from the tube on a damp brush. This is adding a little bit of water. And this is with the granulate, no water, just the granulation medium. I don't really see too much of a difference. I do think this one has got a little bit more texture to the pigment lay out pigment that was weird that was awkward so to the way the pigment laid out on the paper than these other two but I don't know if that's from the granulation medium or just the way I had the water puddling on the page and then um, here is the quidocridone purple so that again this is with the damp brush this is with just water and they're pretty smooth even coverages of paint the variation again that you see is where there was more water and puddling of water and this is with the granulation medium. I see a little bit of texture in here. Not too much. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to experiment with it some more. Probably I'm doing something wrong would be my guess. Um, but I am having fun experimenting. And I will keep going with that. I did, of course, make notes on the page. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. I guess it added a little bit of something to the paint. It's interesting. Um, it did also seem to... Um, re-wet the dry watercolor paints very nicely, um, a little easier um, than straight water, sort of like the um, watercolor water mixture that I use, which has oxgall liquid in it. So um, it did seem to do that. Um, and by the way, I do pre-mix my waters. Depending on what watercolor palette I'm using, I have the water with oxgall in it in a dropper bottle. If I'm using a palette with half pans, it's easier to, with this one. If I'm only wetting a couple of colors, and if I'm wetting an entire palette or palette with full pans, I'll use a spray bottle. And so I did the same thing with the granulation medium, and then I just labeled them so I wouldn't forget what's in what bottle. So anyway, granulation medium. That's a new thing to play with this month on Just Add Water, and I will be doing more with it. And I'll let you know next month. 
what my conclusions are. But yeah, and also I think I'll be looking up Kellogg's Loops more and seeing what else he's doing on his channel. This was pretty cool. I'll be trying this again um, because I definitely don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it down pat yet. But anyway, that's it for this month. I hope that you have fun playing with your water sol soluble mediums, whether it's watercolor paints or water soluble crayons or water soluble markers or it doesn't matter pick one and play just add water that's it this month don't forget to like share and subscribe support all of your creative favorites here on youtube and over in the facebook art groups um, by finding out how you can support them through shopping in their etsy shop adding to a paypal tip jar if they have one um, joining their patreon or youtube membership check out my video description i have all of those different things in there and you can just pick the one that's convenient for you. Most of your creatives here on YouTube have that, so check it out with them. Um, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and have a great day, and do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.